even imagine having this view from your home and sewing room. I've got a treat for you today. We're visiting a friend's sewing room. Name, her name is Kathy and she's a, a part of our Barry stitching group. So let's go in and check it out. Across from her home is a guest house and she recently has moved the furniture around in the guest house to include her sewing space. So she walks out the door and comes across the walkway and driveway to enter the guest house to her sewing room. But I have to tell you, look at her little mat. I so need that. So let's be happy and go inside. This is downstairs. How are the kids doing up in? Are they up So Kathy calls this the bunk house and it has a kitchen and as I showed you it has a guest bed and look at that quilt she made. And then we head upstairs to her sewing space. Her space is nice, not like gigantic sewing space, but this is what you can do with any space you have is to make it more efficient. And it is so cozy and adorable. These um, shelving units that she has her fabric stored in are from Home Depot and she has flannels at that end, cottons, and then we have batiks. She's hung little key hooks for her scissors and rotary cutters. Here's one of these uh, dinette set tables that she uses for sewing and I absolutely love her um, lamp. Uh, her husband bought this lamp and spray painted it pink. Now I would not have even thought of that. So as she sits here to sew, she gets to look out the window into the barn at the stacks of hay. I just love that. I love that. Her design wall is attached to the uh, one wall and she has a uh, track lighting that she can adjust where she needs the light. Her cutting table is in the middle of the room and it has a uh, notions box and ruler holder. Look at those squares she's working on. And here are more of those boxes from Home Depot. And just so you know, she bought a whole bunch of these fabric boxes from Target that fit just perfectly in there for $4 a piece. $4, mind you. And I recognize this little girl she must have come from Tazuti Zoo in Pacific Grove, California. Got our music going here. And this is clever. She has um, uh, a sheet of metal with um, these little tiny magnets holding photographs onto that metal. Well, I love that idea. There are two little closets in here. She has her ironing board, iron, 
and she's a knitter so there's a dresser drawer filled with yarn and the other closet just so you know how amazing she is she has boxes and boxes of fabulous quilts that she has made and some extra fabric storage back here this closet is really deep one of the more spectacular things in this sewing room is this little ottoman she made she got an ottoman she already had Look at that. And she took a quilt that she had made and she reupholstered it with the quilt. Ugh, oh, that is such a great idea. <laughs> 